So according to the data from Footprint Data, Sunflower Land is just 100,000 monthly visitors shy away from the number one spot of GameFi website monthly visit. That is just slightly behind the legendary Axie Infinity that has sort of dominated the last crypto bull market. Well, I don't know how accurate this data is and is it because most of the players, if not all of the players of Sunflower Land log in from their official website, but it's a good thing to see that Sunflower Land is ranking something. Hey, my fellow fake online friends, welcome back to another video of Sunflower Land. My name is RV and in this video, I will summarize the latest 43 minute long Sunflower Land Q&A on Twitch for you in less than 10 minutes so that you can something something save your time and something something change your life. I am running out of things to say from my opening. A quick disclaimer, please note that this Twitch live is purely for educational and entertainment purposes. Take everything they say with a grain of salt, the information shared on game to make it into the game and none of this is financial advice. Before we start, if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out the latest updates at Sunflower Land, hit that like and subscribe buttons now and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers soon so that I can monetize off your precious eyeballs. Definition of unrealistic goal. Login speed improvement. As promised, the team has implemented a significant improvement on the login speed. New users can now log in for the first time and get started with the game in a matter of seconds, sometimes literally just one second. Now for existing users, the login speed has also been improved for around four to five times faster. In the stream, Craig tried his best to explain how did he pull off this significant performance improvement. And of course, I tried my best to understand that. I know you don't really have to understand how electricity works in order to enjoy it, but we're all here to learn, aren't we? Now to summarize in probably oversimplified terms, they delayed the NFT minting process for new users login and skipped some blockchain queries for existing users to make this improvement happen. If that makes sense to you, congratulations, you are now a blockchain genius. New user experience and user interface improvements. Now, as if that is not enough, the Sunflower Land team implemented another series of improvements for new users' experience and interface. This includes step-by-step -step guidance for new players, visualized instructions, and more seamless and effortless initial gameplay, like a temporary 2x selling price for crops that you harvested, and temporary 2x speed for growing crops. While all these are supposed to help the new players to advance the game more rapidly. A question is raised during the stream, somebody asked, with every halving, you will have to revisit this beginner guides and steps. As you get less SFL from selling, it could possibly stop all new players from crafting enough tools. While you might or might not know what a halving is, while well, the purpose of this video is to summarize the Twitch life, so perhaps I'll do another video about Sunflower Land halving in the future. Adam's answer to that question is that the tutorial should just work the same even with the halving because of the values and dynamics of the resources and the game loop. Now overall, in my own opinion, this is super cool crucial because the initial experience of a game will help a player to decide if they want to continue to play and explore the rest of it. Truth be told, when I introduced this game to friends, I kinda just told them the option to buy Old Farm from OpenSea because that way they could get the legacy skills which I thought are quite necessary and useful to have. Disclaimer, I am not suggesting you to do so because there's risk associated with it if you don't know what you're doing. However, if the new user experience keeps improving Improving at this rate, I definitely think that it would be better to just start the game with a new farm, which also makes my life a little easier because new players can now figure out the essential parts of the game themselves and everything else. Apart from the main updates, some of the bits and pieces from this stream includes a brief mention of the upcoming YGG Web3 Summit where the team will be attending in Manila, Philippines. You can sign up for the first ever Sunflower Land International Meetup. Just check this Discord announcement for more details. Towards the end of the stream, somebody asked if there's any news on the Christmas tree. Now, if you don't know, Christmas tree is an NFT that you can place at your farm and it will drop you a present every year during Christmas. Now, the last present worth 
the angel wings and the devil wings which are both super OP because they give 30% chance to get instant crop which is why the Christmas tree has always been kind of a whale item and Adam gave a very clear cut answer to this question. He said that the Christmas tree present this year would not be something very OP and they will try to announce it before hands to avoid any speculation and I guess potential disappointment. I, I don't know why I show this picture but if you know, you know. Apart from that, something that didn't really get mentioned in this stream is that it seems like the time and resources needed to cook a mashed potato have now been reduced. Instead of needing 10 potatoes, you now need only 8. And the cooking duration has been reduced from 1 minute to 30 seconds pre-buff. Hey look, I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your life to watch this video while you're here. And if you don't want to miss out more Sunflower Land update strategy and walkthrough contents like this, make sure you turn on the notification bell and like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.